Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a house renovation update so if you want to see a little bit more then keep watching. So if you are new to my channel my name is Charlotte, I'm 32, mum of three and we are undergoing a house extension at the moment. It started the week before lockdown in the UK and it has been quite a journey like we are so so lucky that we've been able to have it continue by um like we've socially distanced so we stay completely inside the house and all of the work has been carried out outside the house and slowly but surely over time things have progressed and we've had loads of delays and i haven't updated in ages and one of the reasons for that which you will see more in this video is that actually once lockdown was um, reduced and the sort of like rules around the way that people work changed, our builders were able to then um, come into our kitchen and knock through slightly uh, to put a big steel through it. Uh, so we obviously stayed in a separate part of the house while that was happening and then what they did when they finished, it took two days I think overall they made a big wooden partition wall at the back of the house and the reason why I haven't shared that is because obviously I wanted to wait until like the extension was secure before I updated again because that wouldn't have been like a sensible thing to be shouting about on the internet would it um so where we are standing at the moment is completely different from the footage you're about to see now but I did try and document it while it was happening um so a lot has changed since the last update if you want to see the updates in order then I will leave the playlist down below so you can check out those videos you can see what I have looked like before what we're having done and then see it as it has progressed but this update is going to be from week I think it was week 10 um so where we're up to at that stage we are now over three months in and I think this might be week 14 now and things are changing all the time I don't think it will be done anytime soon I think we're probably looking at it being finished more towards July or like the end of July but it is worth the wait and it's been um, an incredible journey and our team have worked really really hard but I'm going to stop rambling now and show you the week 10 update so a lot has changed <laughs> since I last updated and I will walk you through like everything that's happened so far and take you up here as well at some point but as you can see it's no longer just stuff that you can imagine there are actual walls now and then upstairs we have the makings of a roof the soffits and fascias i think they're called have gone on now so that's all the way around the outside this extension here is a flat roof extension it like matches our neighbors and because we have dormers it's like in keeping with the rest of the house if that makes sense um, I had someone message me on Instagram about it so I thought I would explain that if anyone was curious so we have a pitch roof here but the dormers that come out of our house I'll show you when I go around the back in a sec are flat if that makes sense so as you walk through we're keeping our front door for now because we can't afford to replace this even though this is quite old I painted this to sort of update it a little bit um, but this is just like for another day when we've managed to save but um, hopefully you can see there's Romeo this is where our bin store is going to be um, so we can keep our bins all along the side here and it's quite handy for when we're like bringing shopping in and it's raining and that kind of thing so we could enter the house from at this point too and this is going to be our utility room so you can see it's actually a really good size it's bigger than i thought it would be as per the plans but one thing i've learned by now is that you can't really imagine anything properly until it's up um we're going to come through here and going to be a row of like units we're going to keep a big freezer in here a uh, washing machine dryer we're going to have another sink and then a big tall unit as well in the corner for keeping things like dustpan and brushes the hoover that kind of thing we'll have a few units up on the wall as well for extra storage like first aid kit or you know that kind of stuff so this is the utility room and then that also has a door that is going into the garage the garage is ms at the moment but the roof is going to be like sorted out and um, there's still like a gap here if you can see but that's all going to be patched up sorry while the camera <laughs> adjusts and then through here is going to be our doorway which is nearly finished it just needs these bits doing in fact what i'm going to do is i'll step out and i will show you properly so 
if I come into the garden that is where the door is going to be so that's just going to be filled in that bit will be patched up with the roof and everything sorted out in terms of guttering and stuff and then we'll be able to exit into the garden from the garage so if we're ever doing anything like mowing the lawn or that kind of thing then we can get everything out of there and then if you go back through you can see the sort of basis of what it's going to look like in this part so this will all be wall and then that's the doorway into the utility and then that brings us to this bit now a lot has changed here and i'm going to step back so i can show you so obviously while this is going on um it's been the covid19 pandemic and um we have had to stay boxed in up until recently where the lockdown has been reduced slightly and people are not allowed to come and work in your homes as long as social distancing measures are kept to however we didn't want to progress any further without being as safe as possible so we've had to bring out our door and window there was a window here and then there was a door and then another window here and that's had to be done for some additional steel work to be put in just this last week and we now have a makeshift wall to our kitchen which is very dark and very cold i will show you what that looks like inside in a second but this is like a new change um and it has made things trickier but we're just we've decided that we are staying here now and we're just going to make it work because it's the safest thing for everybody involved and um obviously things cost money and you can't be finding like other like properties to move into temporarily so that is what everything's looking like at the moment and eventually when everything's sealed off and the doors come the bifolds come the windows come then when the kitchen is ready to go in this will be taken down our old kitchen removed new kitchen put in and we just won't be able to use the back of the house for like a week or so like our builders have said they're going to try and do it as quickly as possible because they know that what we're living in at the moment is not like ideal circumstances but to be honest with you like it's fine like worse things have definitely happened at the moment so it's not something to moan about it but it just has made it a little bit bit more complex in terms of our living arrangement so that's what everything looks like down here at the moment so it's going to be open from here to here obviously this bit has to stay in place just for steel work to be nice and safe and keep everything supported and then up here we are waiting on the big lantern window light and um, which will bring loads of light into this area but we are waiting on electricians plumbers and plasterers that's what's going to happen or start happening this week and then we are also waiting on the manufacture of our windows because that has now opened up again and also the manufacture of our kitchen which should take four to six weeks i'm not sure about the windows though um so the kitchen's already been in progress for one week so we could have between like three and five left to wait for that to come so that's what it's like around here and i will now take you up so i'm now upstairs in the new part of the extension and we just use step ladder to get up through here but this eventually will be stairs and it will come this will be not through it will come from our hearth landing which i will show you when i go inside um but that will come like the other direction up into here sorry i'm a bit out of breath <laughs> climbing up there and um, so we come up and then we've got like a little corridor we've got a nice window here and a little window there as well and so we can have like storage here if we want to and then you open our door into our bedroom which is what I'm assuming this market is here for. I think that's correct anyway. And then we come through, we've got a little window here. And this is going to be frosted glass because that's what you have to do if you have like windows at the side of a property. And then through here will be our ensuite. So the layout for this, I think, is going to be the shower in this corner, toilet and a sink here and like a little towel rail here all of this is going to be leveled off because at the moment you can see the eaves of the house this will also be being removed and this window will be removed as well this goes into our bathroom currently we have two windows in there so we won't lose any light really like not too much light and it's going to be boarded up and removed and then we'll probably fill the gap with some mirror cut to size so we don't have to worry about mismatched tiles or anything like that and yeah this was 
originally actually not part of our plan when we were having the house done we weren't really considering like having an ensuite because we just we thought it was i don't know it seemed like a really big thing to do like a, a big upgrade but our um architects and our builders have both said that like when you upgrade your house to have more bedrooms it's kind of expected that you would have an additional bathroom if you ever went on to sell it because you know you have more people living there you probably will need more bathrooms so we're very very lucky to have this and then over here is our bedroom and it's not going to be the biggest bedroom in the world but it's actually not too much different from the room that we've got now dormer bungalows don't have the most massive upstairs space anyway and um we're just so excited like it looks fantastic and the view is beautiful like it's just all the like woodlandy bit of our back garden here so there's going to be like a big window here and then i think i can put a dressing table here the bed's going to come out like this with like bedside tables and then along this wall here i think we're going to go for like a big ikea wardrobe system just because you know ikea is quite affordable and really good for organizing so that is what it's like up here and it's really special coming up here actually because it happened like for a long time this was happening and we couldn't really see it because there's no way to access it while the builders are here and you can't like see through you have to climb up so a lot has changed um but it should be really exciting and nice and bright in this part of the house so i will take you down and show you what it looks like inside before i take you in i thought i would show you here as well so this light is busted now because they had to remove it to be able to get up there to do some work so we're having that replaced this drain pipe has been removed because it's not actually in use and we had a dummy window filled in that our last builders um didn't do properly so that's been done and then this window outside has been made smaller and i will show you why when we go inside so we are now inside and you will hear some more noise because everybody's playing in the other room but this is what it looks like up here now so the window used to be that big if you can see and that's now been filled in um so that was something that happened last week and was very like messy and noisy but that's been done now and then we also have a hole going through here which goes through our downstairs toilet which comes out the other side of the downstairs toilet and goes through to outside where a steel has been put in and i will show you that now um i've got to bring you into our little cave first though let me turn turn that off so hopefully you can see not only are we really struggling for space because we've lost the <laughs> conservatory and stuff but it's um it's really really dark in here now we don't have any windows and um it can get quite nippy we're lucky that it's been done like spring summer or is it summer now i don't really know but it's warmer um but just some days it can be really really cold like today it's quite gray and gloomy and it's definitely not what i would describe as warm in here but the reason why i haven't shared this is obviously because it's less secure so by the time you see this everywhere will be like there'll be windows and doors in which then make it secure and we don't have to worry about this random little stud wall divide type thing but our downstairs toilet like <laughs> look at the mess um our downstairs toilet is not in operation because there is a joist like a temporary one in here um to keep that steel so that's the one that's coming through the stairs and it comes through here and then it goes outside and that's obviously just to you know stop the roof caving in on our heads um and yeah it's just been it's been like really exciting um but at the same time we just really want to make sure that we're doing everything the right way so while this like is difficult to live with it's so so necessary and our builders like came up with all the ideas so we could keep progressing but just do it safely and i am so grateful to them so that is where we're up to you now it's so messy in here i'm so sorry <laughs> so that is the end of week 10's update and i will be sharing another one very soon of how it went like a few weeks later just so you can see the progression and um, if you have any requests um with the renovation like things that you want to see whether or not that's like choices that we've made or ways that we've like saved money or you know just how we got to certain decisions then let me know down below and i will add that to the list of things to film for you but i hope you have a lovely rest of your day and take Take care and I'll hopefully see you very very soon. Bye.